Hi there, Lindsay here, the Frugal Crafter, and I got asked so many times whether or not I could come up with an inexpensive way to make a homemade version of the Wink Stella pens. Now, I don't have these. Um, my local stores don't carry them, and um, but I, I gather they're kind of like a water brush with color and shimmer in them, and I thought, well, I have this set of small Paintastics. I paid $5 for this set, um, and I already have the longer ones that I use for my art journal, so I thought I would sacrifice these and see if I could come up with something that was similar to Wink Stella's for quite a bit less. So this set was five dollars. I bought it on. I bought it at Martin's and maybe more. But you can get it at the kids department in uh, craft stores or department stores. And this is what I came up with. These are what the pens look like, all colored. And now that they're dry, I can tell what ones need a little bit more shimmer. So this is on watercolor paper, and I just have a strip of black here so I could see how opaque they are. And um, I think that maybe the purple one could use a little bit more shimmer. But you can see they really have a nice shine to them. Um, so I'm going to show you how I made these. Very easy. So when you first get these little pens, and they also come in longer, in a longer version. This is uh, one of the longer ones. They used to sell these at Sam's Club, but they don't anymore. You can use either one. I just thought I'd use a small one so I didn't, um, I didn't end up making myself more than I was going to use. So when you first get them, they're going to have a, uh, a little collar on them like that. Okay, and the and you'll also notice that the tip of the brush will be white. And the reason they're sold like this is so that they don't leak before um, before you get them. And there's like a little seal in there. And once you remove the collar and you you close it, you'll hear a little pop, and um, that pierces the seal. And then you can use the brush by squeezing it. And then um, I'm just gonna actually squeeze out a little bit there. I gotta make some room for some shimmer. Um, so then you want to squeeze out a little bit of the pen of the uh, the liquid watercolor that's in there. So you have room for the shimmer stuff, and what we're going to use for the shimmer is uh, liquid watercolor, metallic liquid watercolor. Now, if you don't have this, you can use Perlex or Perfect Pearls or whatever sort of mica powder that you have. Um, it shouldn't really pose much of a clogging problem. I would definitely choose a really fine um, product, like uh, if you're using Perlex, like the Micro Pearl, and you want something that's mostly mica. So if you're using um, like eyeshadows from the dollar store, make sure you get. I think it's like there's a LA Colors. It's um, it's white, I think, and it's just really, uh, really shimmery, and Mike is the first ingredient in it. All right, so then I'm going to use like a little palette knife here to pop off that, and when you take this out, you'll see there's like a tube in here, and inside is a straw, and this is just a control valve so your pens don't leak. You want to set that down, and then um, you want to shake up your liquid metallic watercolor, or, you know, if you're using Perlex, you're just going to put a little uh, scoop in there. I find with a liquid watercolor, you can use up to 50% of the shimmer um, to paint, or as little as 25%, depending on how much shimmer you want. I'm just going to suck up a little bit of this. Since I already did put some in here, I'm just, I just feel like it needs a little bit more, and I'm just going to drop that in there, like so. And then you want to shake it up before you put that tube back in there so it gets all mixed up, especially if you're using the powder because you want to make sure there aren't any clumps that could um, get stuck in this tube and clog your pen and give you trouble. And if that happens, I think you probably need to wash out the whole pen. Um, the cool thing is, though, with these little Paintastics is you can wash them out when you're done and you have a lovely little water brush and they're so much cheaper than water brushes. So that's why I recommend these rather than buying empty water brushes and filling them because that would be that'd be more expensive than the Wink Stella pens. Um, if you're going to do that, you might as well buy the Winkastellas and then just, you know, refill them with your own concoction when you're done. And like I said, I don't have the Winkastellas. I overfilled this a little bit. You could see it kind of uh, oozing out there. Make sure you have rags or paper towels handy because you were going to make a mess. And if you are doing a whole set like I did, do your white first because um, you will, your hands are going to be so filthy by the time you're done. <laughs> All right, so here I have this all done. I'm just going to give it a little shake. And then before you swatch it out, you'll want to just kind of squeeze a little bit out onto a scrap. And I'm, I'm doing this on a palette so I can reuse this in my art journal. I didn't want to waste all that ink. And then um, you can just swatch it out. I'm going to swatch this out above the other one that I did see. Oh, yeah, this is much more um, shimmery and opaque. Can you see that? I'm not sure if you can really tell. But you can see the before. It was pretty shimmery, but just not quite as shimmery. And there's the uh, the version on black. When it um, since the the purple watercolor is a little more trans is quite transparent, you're gonna mostly just see a lavender sparkle when it's done. Um, but it should be a little bit more shiny because I added the more um, more mica to it. So there are all the colors swatched out. I think they're fun. I think they're gonna be really great to use in my mixed media. But um, I haven't tried the Winkastellas. So what do you think? Did I come close? Um, or is it no cigar? Or um, is it something fun but nothing like? 
Beckham or did I hit the nail on the head? Please leave me a comment and let me know what you think. Um, I think these are really fun. You can use um, the pearl for pretty much any color. But if you want, what I did, I decided since I had the silver and the gold for my warm colors, like my yellows and my oranges and my reds and even my green, I use my gold um, liquid watercolor. And for some of the cooler colors, I use silver. So completely up to you what you want to use and you'll get very subtle variations between those colors. I really like the gold and the brown, in fact. And I did put a, like a streak of the white here because I was wondering how those colors would mix or look layered over white. So that's just something else too. If, you, if you're working on dark and you want to have more color show through, you could do an underpainting painting with the white, which I put pearl um, color in, and then you can go over the, with the other colors after it dries and have a really sparkly standout color. So um, if you like this tutorial, perhaps you'd like to check out some of my other homemade art supply tutorials, I'll have a link in the video description. You can find the whole playlist with all my crafty recipes in it. Um, I'd love it if you shared this with your friends on Pinterest, Twitter, Tumblr, where do you share things? I don't know. Let me know. Uh, Facebook and, uh, you know, spread the love. And also I would love a thumbs up. And if you're not already and you'd like to be, hit that subscribe button. I really do appreciate it. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day. Until next time, happy crafting.